Australian researchers have found a way of slowing down digital information carried as light by transforming it into sound waves within a microchip. The researchers hope the chip can play a role in saving the underthepimp fiber optic networks that are the backbone of the global internet. Dr. Birgit Stiller and Moritz Merplain inside their lab in the Sydney Nanoscience Hub. Photo Louise M. Cooper The first of its kind chip takes light waves, rushing it close to 300 million meters a second, and pushes them through a special wire as a sound wave, which runs five orders of magnitude slower. It is like the difference between thunder and lightning, said Dr. Birgit Stiller, a physicist who worked with Moritz Merplain at the University of Sydney on the project. Finding a way to slow down light has been a major focus for scientists for several decades, but they have been hitting a brick wall. Light is reluctant to be slowed down in any practical fashion. So what we have said is, okay, rather than slow light down, what about turning it into sound, said Professor Ben Eggleton, part of the team working on the technology. The team's chip, the details of which were published in Nature Communications on Monday, channels light waves into a wire made of a special soft glass. Information is first encoded in a light pulse and then sent through a fibrioptic cable. The pulse then hits the glass wire creating a vibration, a sound wave, that travels the length of the wire at the speed of sound and can be read at the other end. Counterintuitively, slowing down is vital to allow the Internet to keep speeding up. The global Internet is strung together by fibrioptic cables that run beneath the oceans and are connected to thousands of server-filled data centers around the world. As our Internet use continues to increase these cables and data centers must cope with the increased volume and the heat it generates. Fibrioptic cables carry light pulses, which run through them at the speed of light, enabling their instant Internet connections. But as the volume increases, the receiver can be overloaded, too many signals arriving at the same time. Think of it like cars trying to exit a multi-lane highway, they need a space to slow down to exit safely, Professor Eggleton said. By transforming the light into sound and slowing it down, the receiver gets breathing space to process all the information. The new chips don't generate as much heat or electromagnetic interference as existing solutions, which is valuable as the number of connections and servers inside data centers grows. Professor Eggleton described the research as a very fundamental advance. The team will now work on developing and eventually commercializing their new technology 